not the same so, okay. so here you can see the users like uh, when all the user list will be shown here normally when you click on the edit button so you will see the multiple option there that will not be useful normally so from here you can set the password and all the things that we have discussed okay suppose if you want to give the access to a particular user to the particular person so just uh, you have to go on there and click on the add name and uh, the username email and the password and send user notification about this email this one is the option this is the role part here you can select the multiple roles so subscriber doesn't have any kind of the permission okay. subscriber can only like uh, see the website and all the things nothing can do that and uh, contributor he can contribute in your blog post and all the things pages and all the things but uh, the author 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 and editor author can write the post normally but editor can't write the post he or uh, the editor can be modify the existing post okay administrator is the full access like the administration person can access the full back end of the website all the functionality will be visible suppose if you hire a content writer so just you can give the author role to them okay so once uh, the work has been done by the user so there is a delete option there will be delete option here so you can delete the user from there after that tools is there so basically there are the four to five tools currently the import in that you can import the things from the another website suppose if your website is on the blogger and you want to import the post of the blogging webs like from the blogger platform to the wordpress so just you have to install this So once you install, so the run import is there. Like when you download the file from the blogging blogger platform, uh, so you can just upload the files here. The file format was the XML file format. So as the same way, there are the multiple things. The converter, the exciting category to text, text to category selective. Basically, क्या होता है? In that, like, uh, if you will see post under the category and text both are there. Suppose if the category is there and you want to convert the category into the text, so you can directly convert from there. Okay. So these are the live journal API. Like these are the third party part RSS, Tumblr. Okay. These are the third party. So as the same way, just uh, download the file from that, and you can just upload here and you can then start importing. After that, export is there. You can export the content of this website. Like you can export the post, you can export the page, you can export the pop up, whatever the plugins, like whatever the functionality you will have, you can export them. When you click on the post, so you, they will ask something like start date, end date. You don't need to fill this kind. If you want a specific post, so just you have to fill. So click on the download export file. Once you will click on the file, will be downloaded. As you can see that the file will be downloaded here. All the post is there. This is the first post file dump. Okay. So this is the post. It's like you can migrate the content from the one website to the another website. After that, site held is there. When the site held, it will show the data about like uh, how well, how your website is performing. So here you can this status of the website. Like currently, it is saying the good. The status. So what are the uh, what are the recommendation improvement? You should have you should remove inactive plugins. Okay, and after that, you should remove inactive theme. One or more modules are missing. So these are the some things that you can check and you can improve the website things. After that, uh, info is there. In the info, just uh, the thing like about this particular plugins, 
about the WordPress, what the version, like complete WordPress part. Like what is your active theme? What is the version of this theme? Author, author website, all the things will be there. What is your database? Client version, local host, database name, all the things will be displayed here. Okay. So as you can cite your everything you will see there. Whatever the complete website. So after that uh, this is the export personal data form that you can download the personal data so, well, uh, this is useful for like uh, uh, suppose uh, there is some blogging website like uh, you see the like uh, freelancing portfolio type website normally where uh, people can write the blog normal this is a front end submission basically the website hoti hai in that people can write the full blog so after the writing 10 120 any number of the blogs so just they want to export the data they can export the data okay matlab they the personal data like their contact information and what they have published till now what whatever the activity will be made by the user that will be downloaded from here This is the erased personal data. From that, all the data will be laid as the same way like when you uh, go to disable or uh, delete the Gmail account. So they will go give an option to you, like uh, download personal data. You will erase completely when you are going to delete the Gmail account. Mm. After that, setting is there. In the setting, multiple option is there. General writing reading. So in the general, you will see the site title. The site title will be reflected in the top. As the same way, like if you will open the website, so on the top you see the my blog. This is the site title and this is the tagline. So from there you can change whatever you want to change. The same thing we can change. Take care. Based on this, this particular thing has been changed. After that, you will see that two things. One is one is the WordPress address, and this is the site address. Okay, so basically, you can see that here both both the URL is the same. Yeah. Okay. So basically, what is the difference between them? Like uh, one is this URL, this one. And one is the folder location you are at, like where your folder is located. Suppose if I will go on to my C panel, as you can see that under the socialbookmarkwebsite.com the folder is there wp learning okay and the directory is also there wp learning suppose if we will change the directory from there so we need to change the directory there also okay okay after that administration email address is there uh, this is the main admin email normally all the notification and all the things will be gone on the this particular things uh, the membership is there the main purpose of the membership is like uh, currently this is option is suppose if you have created any kind of the website like e-commerce website you have you know, any kind of the website so no one can register on this until you will check this when you will check this so anyone can be register on the website suppose if you have created e-commerce website through the woocommerce but this option is not enable so the customer can't uh, create an account on this once you will check this the customer can start create an account on your website by default uh, register member like suppose if the customer create an account the user create an account so what the all you want to give by default so that the thing so subscriber that can be beneficial for anyone Okay, this will be always a subscriber. 
so after that the site language is there you can change check from there and after a time zone date format time format all the things is there okay and the next week is start on the starter template and this is the different thing okay so this is the general site basically in that the main use of site title and the site tagline this will be the main useful sometimes this will be unchecked if you are creating an e-commerce website for the static website it doesn't see them this one but for the e-commerce for the membership for the registration basically registration type website so you have to check this this is the writing part here we have discussed like default post category that we have discussed so the post format is there standard the site chat gallery the multiple suppose if you are creating the basically it will tell the format of the post like the post is related to the blogging it is related to the image it is related to the gallery so this kind of the format is there so just we will keep the standard basically we will also include the image we will also include the video we will include the text in the in this single post right suppose if you are creating a post so we will include all the things in a single post so we, we will keep this standard okay and suppose if you are creating only the audio so you can just select the audio after that we have uh, default editor for all the users but it is like uh, we have installed the classic editor yesterday so it is asking for default editor so you can change the editor from there which editor you want to keep after that this is the allow user to switch editors it means like user can switch the editors from the edit post page okay so this is the different thing like post via mail service normally uh your wordpress wordpress consists by default mail services so this one is from the server basically you can connect it yourself your server you can also connect suppose you have purchased hosting from anywhere so you can just also connect after that uh, the reading is there the first option is there your home page display what your home page will be display so here you can see that two options your latest post a static page so if you will see currently it is showing this perfect so once you will select on the latest post and save so all the latest post will be shown instead of the home page okay and when you click on the page and you can select the page suppose if you want to show service page as the main page so the service page will be displayed okay so this form here you can change that you can select the post page from there like which is your blog post normally in which page all the blog is there blog page so at most like uh, currently blog page is not there in this suppose if there will be any page related to the blog so this is my blog and here you can see that at the end you will see the pagination there one two three so this is the limit side from the there like on a blog page how much post you want to show at a time so you can change the change or decrease the number from there okay. so it is showing that the most recent item like the if you will add a bit chat related to the related or recently posted so number of the post you want to show at a time suppose if you posted a uh, today five posts so this will be count as an recent post normally you have published recently and uh, so you can select the number from here if you want to display these somewhere on your website 
so it this is the things like for each post in a feed you want to matlab uh, that is the thing ki suppose this content is coming here this is the small content small content so it is they asking for like you want to show the full text here for expert whatever we will add in the post that we have also discussed now on the right hand you will see uca option to add some text so it is asking for that like if you want to show the full text or you want to show some piece of the content but this is not done from there like hey definition is also there your team determine how content look in the browser okay from there we doesn't have to change like our team will be decided and this is the thing under the setting under the reading so this thing is important only okay this is the main thing on that we have to work and after that this is the search engine visibility search engine visibility basically if you will check this so the website will not crawl by the search engine it can be how it can be google any kind of the search engine website will not crawl by them but if you will uncheck that so the website will start crawling basically what it's mean like the website will not index in the google suppose if i am writing the zoom solutions so my website is coming there right but if i will uncheck this if i will check this and save change so my website will not be shown there my website will uh, listing the pages post all the things will be not shown in the google Okay. Under the discussion, these are the discussion tab that will be not needed. Okay, so like here you can uh, change the setting. Suppose default post setting, attempt to notify just for the mail like normally. Allow people to submit comment on the new post. Allow links to notification. So these are notification time that will be not needed. Like okay, under the media. you can change the setting of the media from there right the thumbnail size the uh, medium size matlab if you will upload a image so the image will be uploaded into the three sizes thumbnail medium large so which size you want to keep just if you will go on the all post if we click on the edit add media suppose if you select a media insert a post when you click on the add it you will see the size thumbnail full size two sizes there that so by date so okay and uh, if you will uh, use any kind of the page builder so if better see so you will see the three four three to four option thumbnail medium just wait i am uh, uploading the high quality photo there so under the high quality you will see that thumbnail medium large okay so as the same way the size factor you can decide it from there okay and you can change it according to your requirement but this is the sufficient like this is the perma links that we have discussed now this is the url fit half to then the privacy is there that will be not needful okay so basically like this is a basic overview of the dashboard normally how the wordpress dashboard is and uh, how it is looking this kind of a thing so like which type of the website you want to create normally just Elementor, WP Bakery, Gutenberg, multiple page builders are there. So for now, we are discussing about the Elementor. Let's talk about Elementor. So this is the Elementor, and just we will install this. One just a minute.
Mm, now it's visible. No? So this is the element of plugins, and uh, there are the some add-ons of this, like element header, folders, essential add-ons, lowest add-ons. These are the add-ons of this. So we will install this and activate. Not the thing. Team. Uh, yeah. Yes. The uh, this particular part will be known as the theme customization part that you are talking. In that, uh, the custom PSP code, CSS, JS, all the things will be involved. This is just back and drop, like creating the web page. Basically, if you are talking on the website, suppose this is uh, you see this website. This is uh, this website create via the collection of the web page. What is the web page? Like suppose if you are interacting with only one page, so this one be a web page. Suppose there are the four three page home service portfolio. So portfolio is in itself is a web page. Services is also a web page, and home is also a web page. When we combine this and put it. Uh, on a particular portion of a particular server from that from the single entity like from the single disk from the single name we can access all the web pages so just we can see that website is the collection of the web page if you are creating the website so in that they can be multiple web pages it can be two it can be four it can be six so this is the plugins that we have installed so you will see an option elementor so this is the free version of the elementor elementor also has the pro version so the template part is there you will see that and so once you will click on the elementor setting so there are the some settings like post type normally that will not be useful nothing which will be useful like till the error will come on the website okay and uh, so for creating the page we have to go on the page part once you will go on the page so we are creating a new page click on that too. just we are writing the page name home page and we are publishing it so as you will see that nothing is there this is the blank page okay so and this is the button added with elementor that plugin we have installed so we will click on this so this interface will be come out via the added with element the page so there are the multiple option is there from that we can create the website via the drag and drop okay some features comes only on the pro version these are the lock as you can see that these are we can't use this you can see that pro if we will purchase the pro so we can use this after that these are the free so now mm, there is in a part setting option is there once you click on the setting so the basic setting of the post page basic setting of the page will be displayed not the particular heading setting not a particular text setting for the page basic setting will be displayed so this is the title title means the uh, name of the page okay suppose if you will see that the name of the page is the home page so we can also change the name suppose if you are creating the home page fun and clicking on the publish and if you will refresh that you will see the page name has been changed home page fun okay from that you can also change there are two options you can change from the added page you have to otherwise add with the element site after that the status is there you can also change the status from there you can change the add the featured image okay order allow commands all the things can you can change in that the main thing is the page layout okay the main thing is the page layout so there are the multiple page layouts as you can see that Default Elementor Canvas, Elementor Full Width, and the second, third one is Theme. So basically, Theme means it the layout will be based on the theme only. Okay.
okay like whatever the theme every theme will provide the different different layout and this layout will be also found the theme base if you will select the element the canvas and click on the update you will see the big change like currently header part is displaying and the copyright section is displaying but when we refresh it all the things have been gone this is the element the canvas okay just for the for now just we are adding the add the heading here and clicking on the update so you will see that heading is there so this is the canvas portion canvas means like uh, there will be no header there will be no footer only the page content will be displayed to the user okay this is a canvas thing and when you click on click on the setting when you go on the element of full width element element of full width what thing will be contained like it will contain the header it will contain the footer it will contain the uh, all the things will be contained like nothing will be hide but the section width will be changed section width only suppose if you will select the theme click on the update if you will refresh it you can see that currently it is showing this like this is the gap this is the gap and this is the gap here this is the gap also this is the gap also so when you will change it to the element of full width and click on the update so you will see the gap and all the things has been changed basically in the theme default the default functionality will be seen like whatever the theme will give to you over this thing will be only seen but if you will check the element of canvas so header footer and all the things will be gone only the page content will be shown and the element of full width on both the things will be shown all the things will be shown but the size of the page will be full okay. and after that uh, so this is the setting part and after that style option is there in the style you can this is the margin normal uh, you have any item of the margin and padding so basically like when you click on the inspect when you click on the computed just for the intro I am telling you uh, so just so as you can see that this is the thing this uh, particular thing is known as the box model normally in the css this part is the css so this is the box model as you can see that the content is there the white space is there and uh, all the things is there just i am also implementing the border on this And I am also implementing some padding here. And I am also implementing some margin here. Okay. So if you are on the computed part, so this is the part. Now the clear definition will be there. So initially the first thing will be content. How much space is occupied by the content? This will be shown. After the content and before the border. Like there are the four step, one is margin, one is border, one is padding, one is content. Four step is there. So the content will be in between of the my padding, border and margin. Okay. Padding, the padding will be just after the content, padding will appear. And after the padding, border will appear. And after the borders, the space that will be added by the margin. Okay. So this is the part of this. Like this is known as the box model type. Okay, basically margin and padding both used to give the space from an element. And F is you can see that padding give space inside the border, but margin give space outside the border. 
okay this is the difference between them so if you will see the added with elementor so this is the margin so from here you can change the device this is for the desktop this is for the laptop tablet this is for tablet this is for the mobile okay you can change the pad and you will see the top bottom right left top right bottom left what is this and uh, so here is the link value together it means when it will be checked so all the margin padding and margin will be applied all the margin will be applied parallelly like same margin will be added on the top on the right but if you want to add the margin only on the left so just you have to check uncheck this and you have to manually you can change whatever you want to change when you will check this so it will pick automatically on all side okay so after that as the same way this way is padding also do so you have to uncheck if you want to add for this specific okay so this is the background type suppose if you want to change the background of the page so you can change the background of the page from there okay like from there you can change the background so this is the desktop mobile you can also change from there otherwise this is the option responsive mode when you click on this so you will see three options there tablet mobile so the complete mobiles will be there the complete tablets will be there the complete desktop will be there okay so basically the main purpose of this like all the things will be changed according to this suppose this this is all the thing in the desktop if you will check the tablet so the tablet will appear no need to change one by one so after this you will see after that this is a background color there are two type of the background color normally one is the simple color the second one is the gradient color simple color is normally in that only one color will be there gradient color is the combination of the two colors like it can be combination of the blue it can be combination of blue and orange it can be combination of yellow and green like uh, the combination of the two color so it is known as the gradient so when you will select on the classic this is the single color click on this you can change the color of the background from there and if you want to add the image on the background so you just have to click on the choose image and you can select the image whatever you want to add and just click select so the image will be added in the background okay so these are the multiple sizes is there image size which size you want to keep okay this size the size part you can decide from there this is the position part this is the position position means where you want to keep the image center 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 left the position of the image will be changed from there okay after that attachment is there attachment means you want to keep the image as a scroll as a fix that we will discuss later normally so what is the difference between them scroll and fix suppose if you want to keep the uh, just i'm opening a website <laughs> so basically if you will see here this ui mantra for success is here you can see that the background image is the fix only the content is changing as you can see that so this is done by the fix part if you uh, make this attachment as a fix okay if you will make an attachment fix so the content will be changed background will be completely fixed and after that if you will see the repeat option is there as you are seeing there the image is repeating multiple times so just you can control it there like no repeat so the image will be shown only the once and when you click on the 
repeat part so image will be repeat repeat x only the x direction image will be repeat if you will click on the repeat y so only the y direction image will be repeat okay and you can change the display size what is the display size suppose when the image is looking in this size so you can change auto covers these are the things auto cover and contain and custom so what is the difference between them like auto it will uh, adjust the image automatically right so normal if you will select auto so according to the width that we have decided here it will adjust from there like if you increase the size so the image will also increase if you will increase more size so that more image will increase more size will increase what is the difference between the covers cover basically suppose if you have a upload an image of the small size like it can be 150 by 150 and you if you apply the condition cover so the image will be cover the complete section when you click on the cover on the full screen the image has been come okay so this is the part contains contain basically it will contain the actual size of the image when you click on the contain you can see that only the actual size of the image is contained basically you can see that the actual size is the 1200 by 744 if you will select the lower image so hmm. normal size is oh, like this is your website okay no, this is not. This. Mm. Suppose this is the website and you want to implement the image in this section. So just click Ctrl Shift I. The inspect tab will, inspect tab will be open. Via the Ctrl. Otherwise, you can open this on the inspect tab. This will disabled on this tab. <laughs> so these things will be appears. So otherwise, you can also open this from there. Three dot more tools, developer tools. Okay. Suppose if you want to change this image, so just click on the developer tools and click on this and click on the image. Just hover. Don't need to click. As upper in the top, you can see that four four five into four four five. So this is the actual size of the image that you can use. Okay, and if you will see here, three four six one into one three six three. This is the size of this box. If you want to create an image for this box, so this is the actual size of this box. Okay. Uh, any doubt in this one? Uh, so from this like you can find the size and you can give them to the designer uh, otherwise you can just click on the control shift i normal the control shift i currently my website might might be in screen sharing it is not visible you have to see the you can do the control shift i can clean this has been opened up control shift i via the control shift i click on click on the inspect just like this and move the mouse so you can see the blue line you can see the blue line so on the click on the blue line click on the computed as you can see that the total size is also there otherwise the section height will also appears the width and height will also appear if the section is big so under the computed you can also calculate like how much padding is there how much actual content is there so this is the main use of the box model okay. 
so after that the all cut out so after that this is the width part normally you can decide the custom okay so this is the gradient what is the gradient like i say the mixture of the two colors so one color is this and we can keep the second color this and the two colors we can match so this is the location for the first color like how much the color should be visible okay you can change the location you can decrease the location according to that color will be reflected so this is the type basically two type is there one is linear this is normal form one is the radial this will be the circle type in center as you can see that Okay. and uh, after that uh, if you select on the linear so the angle section is also there angle will change like 360 to 70 this kind of the things we can do okay so this is the things so on uh, we can change that thing like degree gradient radiation radius so as the thing we can do okay so when we click on that one nothing is there in the page setting so till now like if you are on the down to the ask okay. uh, so like uh, this is fine for today now so just i can also so here you will see these things under the uh, in the elementals two things is coming elements and globals okay globals is only for the paid users not for the free this is the element so when you click on the three dots in the left you will see the site setting team builder switch up with hands notes finder the multiple option is there so under the site setting you can change the global font global font all the things can be changed it means like when you select on the global color so you can change the color of the themes that will be not reflected here basically what happened like if we are creating a website from the scratch right and uh, there are the multiple things this can be they can be heading they can be paragraph they can be you may uh, span tag anything can be there so we will also define a predefined like for that one we'll keep 25 for the h2 we will keep 23 h2 adding h1 adding and h3 adding we will give 24 so we will define the complete things manually just a minute i need to check background this white background we have to change in another background so just we will change the codes code of everything we have the white is written just we will run there so the background has been changed the button if the button is there so we have also changed here okay so this is the complex part like if we, if we have to change the color of a uh, of the complete website so we have to change the different different element but in this way like uh, here we have defined the variable that name is the root this is the color name so we will just change the color here like any color we want to use we will just add here zero 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 we will run so all the colors will be changed automatically like in that what is doing uh, the color is picking from the one source not from the other 
like we don't need to change here we don't need to change here we will just change here and all the things will be done okay so any doubt in this model done for now so one time you can check this like normal okay. bye